the VA does want to take care of, and then they try to find records and that that, that can't exist, and it, it's so much, it's so much stress for that. So if you're an older veteran and you don't have the the energy to fight in you, yes, go and hire an attorney to do it. They're gonna take a, a large portion of your back pay if you get any and upfront freeze. Yes, we they're gonna they're gonna it's, it's a business. They're gonna make money off you definitely. But if you don't have the drive, the energy to fight, and you know that you are worthy of these benefits, go along and do it. Now, if you somebody like that had that fight in you, like with me, I did everything by myself. I what I did was um, I had a friend who was 10 years younger than me, who was getting at 60%, I believe. And I was like, geez, I'm only at 20%. I'm like, and so I said, he hooked me up with a lawyer and I got the lawyer, I paid the retainer, it was like $150. But the re lawyer never did anything. Every, I would call like every three, four, four months. I didn't want to bother her all the time. So I would call every four months just to check up, what see what was happening. And I was always number 25. When I first called, I said, oh, you number 25, 25 on my list. I call it four months later. I'm still number 25. Another eight months. I'm still 25. Two years goes on like this. And then I called her one last time. She said there was nothing that she could do for me. I said, okay, give me my money back and give me my records already. Said. So I wasted two years of doing absolutely nothing. So I, I got so fed up with that. I started learning everything in the process. So I started to do it all by myself. So once I started doing that, things started to move because I'm motivated to work on me work on my case so if you are a younger veteran and i mean who got out probably in the last 15 i will even go 20 years when you guys had the information i know now you can file a claim 180 days before you actually get out you guys should be able to do it on your own because you have access to your records that we didn't have back in the day you had the abilities to go to sick call you had the abilities to report things and 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 last one you people had you had cell phones you could document everything so if you got out within that time period especially the last 15 years you shouldn't even need to hire a lawyer this is something you can actually do on your own with with relatively relatively easily to do it because you have the information but if you're an older veteran you're gonna need some help if you don't have that fire and passion to, to do it on your own, of course, you had to spend a lot of money because these people out here that, that help veterans get benefits, they're not doing it for free. I don't know what it is now. I don't know if it's 30, 40, 40% of your back pay or, or whatever, it, whatever it is, but you might have to do it if you don't have the passion to do it. They have the tools and the knowledge to have you navigate through the VA because you're going to have to do that because right now, look at the VA VA right now they want to do away with the legacy veterans because the newer veterans have all the information so you're seeing veterans have getting getting out of service in the last 15 years or so getting out 50 60 70 80 some even 100 percent right off the bat because they're working on their claim while they in service they're going to sit call complain about their knee, the arm or whatever their, their their injuries are and they documenting the things they're getting the paperwork they're getting the medical terminology down so when they get out they're doing a claim 180 days before they get out bam they getting out 50 60 70 80 percent right away but the older veterans because a lot of information's lost a lot of us are getting older don't remember certain things and don't have the energy to fight anymore the va finds it much easier to disqualify us because they know what's coming down the road. You got all these new veterans that's coming in the military right now, left and right, that know how the VA works. You can have a person that come into boot camp right now. I have a, um, a niece that's in boot camp right now. And she says that these three people in her class have gotten hurt already. Hurt. So now they already... They go to boot camp, and this has only been like a month. I think she's been for about a month already. They go to boot camp. They got hurt. Now they entitled to VA benefits. So the VA sees this. So what better way to get rid of all us old vets? Get us out of the way. If you do file a claim, 
and they want to really get rid of you they'll put you in the appeals process and then that's it they'll deny your claim you're in the appeal process it'll be for years before you get hurt ever again now they gotta deal with this new wave coming in these kids that's coming to the military they're smarter than us they have more access to information than we are so the VA is, is on the lookout for that so I'm gonna end it right there you guys be safe consider subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys on the next one thank you